Louisiana Beer Reviews, Green Flash Brewing Company's Green Bullet Triple IPA India Pale Ale using New Zealand Dry Hops. It's only 10.1% alcohol. <laughs> oh, it has a Best Buy date of February of 2014. Greg would like that. Greg's beer reviews always harping on it, and he is right about it. What is so hard about putting a Best Buy date or a Born on date? Introduced originally as a special in 2011, they rolled it out nationally in 2013 for availability from September to December. It's going to be a seasonal, they say. <clears throat> Didn't get the IBUs, couldn't find that. Uh, gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. Rape Beer, however, gives it 98 out of 100, 91 out of 100 for the style Imperial IPA. So very good to exceptional ratings. The beer in me doesn't have a rating. I've never had it before. I bought this at, uh, I went on this big beer gathering two days ago. I think I bought this at Martin Wine Cellar. No, I'll take that back. I bought it at Stein's Deli, the extraordinary Stein's Deli, which I've never seen any place top that. And we have some banquet traditional beef stew. I was a little surprised because uh, I thought bank the banquet line was only frozen food, but um, <clears throat> apparently they're expanding into canned. It's part of the ConAgra Empire of Omaha, Nebraska. ConAgra Consolidated Consolidated Agriculture. It really should be ConAgri, G-R-I, Agri. But they said when they came up with that name, Agri didn't sound right, so they made it con agra consolidated agriculture all right anyway let's check it out some smoke and it's blowing away with my breath blowing on it everything else i've had from green flash has been at least very good and i think usually what well, usually excellent or better so I'm expecting the best, and that's all I'm expecting. Okay. All right. Yeah, say a little prayer. Okay. Uh, has a thick off-white head and a hazy orange appearance. IPA appearance and some streaming bubbles and I don't see any sediment at all. I didn't see anything at the bottom of the bottle. Oh well, that's fine with me. Let's go with the aroma. Well, it's very citrusy, pungent. Hop forward, obviously. As you would expect, um, sweet, bready, not really getting any alcohol. Let's go with the flavor. <coughs> Making me choke and engulf it right. Um, of course, it's very bitter, hoppy. I don't know what the IBUs are, like I said, but they must be very high. Right, it's sweet. It's, it's very malty, some caramel, some toffee. Um, it's rich. The mouthfeel is is uh, medium to heavy, but more like medium and slick. And the finish is um, mostly dry. It's very easy drinking. And uh, I was cutting the grass, and it's sort of refreshing. Although it's not exactly a lawn more beer. I got Miller 64 in the fridge for something like that. But I usually drink water anyway when I'm thirsty. But uh, I'm gonna say it's most excellent. It's it's an A beer, but to say that it's anything that unusual, it's really not. Um, let's see about this. For a canned beef stew, and I'm gonna have a little spinach salad with it. It's fine. I mean, it's what you would expect. It's not anything extraordinary. 
but I was working in the yard. I didn't really feel like cooking anything. I just heated something up in a pan on the stove, and it's fine. I mean, for a quick little something, it's fine. It's probably healthy. It's got peas and carrots and potatoes and meat in it. And a lot of salt and preservatives. But anyway, you know, caramel color. Okay, uh, I'm sure it's fine. Um, this, I mean, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's not that different from other green flash beers, really. Not to say that's bad. I mean, it's just like run-of-the-mill awesome. I mean, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, if you want a run-of-the-mill, most excellent beer that's pretty much all upside and no downside, check it out. It wasn't expensive. I think it was about two dollars and something for the bottle. Uh, battery's gonna run out. I'll have to recharge. Oh, here it is. I saved the receipt this time. Um. Okay, two ninety-nine. That's not. So that's three dollars. Three times four is. Twelve dollars for a four pack. It's not cheap, but it's worth getting a single and checking it out. You won't be disappointed unless you're looking for something strange and unusual. Then you'll be disappointed. If you're looking for something solid and most excellent, you'll be satisfied. So Les Les Bon Ton Roulet, another winner from Green Flash. From Green Flash, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans. Uh.